Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you the fragrances I got in November. I know this video is a little early, but I'm not planning on getting anything else this month, and I figured, why not share my acquisitions with you guys now? So if you guys like to know the fragrances I got this month, then keep watching. These are all fragrances, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in or not, if I do, I'm sorry, that I purchased with my own money. Now, most of this was exchanges from TJ Maxx because I had purchased a few things. Clothing-wise, it didn't quite work for winter, and because I always assume it's gonna be winter in Florida, but it's always forever summer in Florida, I usually buy like sweaters and scarves and I take them back and return them because I just will not wear them. But they actually had a lot of stuff I was interested in, so let's get into it. Now, some of these are things, uh, two of these are things that I had smaller bottles of that I sold in the past that I now have larger bottles of. And the first one is, this is Chloe. This is the Karl Lagerfeld fragrance. I had a smaller bottle of this. I purchased this in a gift set with a body lotion, which I love, and this is just such a gorgeous scent. It's really, really beautiful. I love it. And then another one was a small bottle of Burberry Brit that I sold so I could get a big one. And I also got this in a gift set with lotion and a um, atomizer. And I thought what I might do is when I review this in the next week or two, use this as a giveaway. So if you guys haven't had the pleasure of trying Burberry Brit, you can try it. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. I also got this scent right here. This is Chloe, the Eau de Toilette. And what I want to do is I'm working on a video, which will probably be up next week or the week after, where I talk about the history of Chloe scents and specifically compare these two. So this is the Chloe, this is the Eau de Toilette. I like this one better than the others, but I do really love Chloe scents. It's just a designer house that I think is really beautiful. Another scent that my mom actually got for me when we were at, we were shopping there, she was getting some stuff because they were going out of town, they were going back up to Tampa to uh, visit some doctors and it was going to be cold so she was trying to find my dad some war, uh, some cold weather clothes and she found two bottles of Lolia so she bought me one. So this is Poetic License Eau de Parfum, I think this is called Score from the End Credits. I was wearing this the other day, it is gorgeous. Love Lolia scents. I sold all my old bottles and I got really, really sad, so I purchased new ones, but they're gonna be part of next month's haul because I'm not gonna get them for a few weeks. But this scent is magnificent, really beautiful. And then I got this body mist from the body shop. I really love body shop body mist. This is Shea. This is just kind of really sweet and warm. It's just a nice scent. I really enjoyed this. And then I also got um, Anna Sui. Yeah, Anna Sui. This is Romantica. This is Eau de Toilette. I actually really love her scents. I just have never purchased any of them. And this one is just, it's not a very exciting scent, but it's a beautifully feminine, wearable, everyday scent. And I just had to get it because I didn't have any from her. And I love the bottle. It's so cute. And then the last one I got is Agent Provocateur. And I think this is Matress? Mistress? I don't know. I can't pronounce words. Anyway, really beautiful scent. This whole line of scents I think is really sexy and very feminine. And I've always actually really liked this scent. And they had it at TJ Maxx. I hadn't seen it there before, so I decided to pick it up. Now my favorite Innie's house, Indie House, Cine's Labs, is having a sale and I've been meaning to pick up some scents. So I got these two. This one is absolutely amazing. It's just, oh my God, it's so good. So, so good. Gorgeous scent. I'm gonna be reviewing these very soon. And I've been wanting to pick this up. This scent is amazing. So this is absinthe. I don't know if it's 10 or nine because I'm horrible at Roman numerals. But the notes in this are star anise, artemisia, patchouli dark, palo santo, tolu, balsam, licorice, and musk. Licorice is one of those things where I hate the, fra uh, the taste of it, but I love it, the smell of it. This is such an amazing scent. So, so good. Love the, the color of the juice and just the bottle itself. Fantastic fragrance. Donnie was also very generous and sent me a bunch of, um, with my order, sent me a bunch of things to try. So I have some new things from him. So I think this is Nisa and Sang, Sang Yu. 
don't, I can't pronounce words, you guys know that. It's why I'm horrible at this. This is blasphemy. It's a really dark juice. You can't even see through it barely. This is Nibiru. And this is Oud. And these are all scents that I've kind of briefly um, smelled. They're all really, really good. But what I want to do is kind of do a whole um, Cine's Labs collection video. And I'm going to make it very long. And I'm going to talk about each of the fragrances I have in depth. So I'm going to touch into these more. But if you guys want a specific review of any of these guys, let me know. A huge thank you to Donnie for sending these to me. This was kind of a surprise with my order because I did purchase these. <laughs> And he was like, I'm just going to throw some extra things in you. And I thought they were going to be little samples, but they were really generous um, travel size. So very happy Next with Next up are some fragrances I got in a swap. And there's somebody that I generally swap with all the time. And they're lovely, and I love swapping with them. So I had a few fragrances in my Deed Pop that I had purchased from Lucky Scent that I actually really loved. But they were a little bit too heavy for where I lived. And although I do like to keep things that are a little bit more challenging and artistic, I just felt that these deserved a better home. <laughs> so we swapped, I think we swapped four fragrances for four fragrances. I think, I forget exactly what we swapped for. So the things that they sent me was first this Marc Jacobs, I think this is the Curacao, the cocktails. I don't exactly remember the exact, how it was called, but this is a fantastic scent for where I live really fantastic scent um and i was just interested in this because i actually hadn't heard of it so they sent me this as a swap really love it it's huge it definitely will get a lot of wear out of that and they sent me this scent from carthusia and they actually asked if i wanted a scent from shea and blue and it was a scent that i actually have tried once on my skin before and it didn't work and then i kind of thought about it and i'm kind of sad i didn't see if um they wanted to switch for that. So if you're watching, if you see anything else you like, I'll switch for that again. I made a silly mistake saying no. But this is a beautiful scent and I've been wanting to try this house and I've been wanting to try this. So when they offered this up for swap, I jumped on it. And then they also swapped, I mean, this little guy, this is Coquette Tropique. This is just something really cute and it's very um kind of fruity and floral and clean. It kind of smells like fruity tropical bubblegum and I actually like these scents to just keep in my bag and I was really excited to try this and I think it's really cute um really cute packaging I don't know I was really into it <laughs> and then this I was really excited for because this is something you guys have been asking me to review forever and it's Twilly from Hermes I also purchased this this month I did a review of this a little basic review and it's from House of Matriarch, and it's the um, memorial fragrance for Chris Giorgio, Mr. Siage, Amber Chris. So I have this one. And then also, um, Sephora started doing this thing where you could turn in points for gift cards. <laughs> and I had so many points, you guys. So many points. And I needed to get Christmas gifts for people. I needed to get birthday gifts for people. So I turned in all of my points because I had, my gosh, enough to like, do one of those things where it was like a trip where it's like go here and do this trip but they were always sold out or it was always things I didn't want so I'm like if I can use it to fund like all the Christmas presents this year that would be fantastic and I had enough left over after doing all that to get some fragrances so I did I got this from for, from Bordeaux it's Peng Lai I think that's how you pronounce it I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because that's my channel Gorgeous scent. I really love these fragrances from Bordeaux. Ridiculously love these scents. So I have that one. And then I got this one from Fleur. And this is Olmsted and Vaux. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, the lights are so weird here today. I mean, it's always weird up in here, but a little bit weirder. This is amazing, you guys. Holy cow. I bought this blind. I have Mo. Mobe, I think it's pronounced it. I got it from the same person I swapped these for. And I was like, I'll try another one. And so I had like one more gift card. And how the gift cards work is they're $100. You can't spend less. I mean, you can. But if you spend $75, the money doesn't roll over. So, of course, I was buying you know, like $105, $150. But I had to do it in like a bunch of different transactions. So my last one, I got this. And love it already. Obsessed. 
And then I also got this. This is one from Jo Malone. I've been meaning to get for a while, and I think it's so good. And it's Blackberry and Bay. Now, I love Bay. Um, during my wedding, I actually catered it myself. I was literally cooking and making hors d'oeuvres. Halfway through like the reception, everyone was arriving, and my mom had come in, and she's like, get your butt out there. This is your reception. People are there to see you. Why are you in the kitchen cooking? <laughs> And what I was making was little tarts, which were raspberry and bay tarts. Thankfully, I had finished them and brought them out. Um, they were raspberry and bay tarts with um, sweet ricotta. Really, really good. And so I love bay. And so this kind of reminds me of my wedding a little bit because of the bay and the berry. Gorgeous scent. So really happy to add this. I have a love-hate with Jo Malone scents. I really enjoy them. Some of them I find to be overpriced, but to each their own. However, there's something about some of these scents that turn sour on my skin. So some of them work really well for me and some of them do not. This is one that works really well for me, so I was happy to add this to my collection. I was also given this fragrance by this house. This is a house I've been interested in and they reached out to me on Instagram, asked me if I had experienced anything and I said no. So they sent me two discovery scents, one I'm keeping so I can try everything, another one I have a giveaway currently on my Instagram. I will link my Instagram below. It ends, the giveaway ends the 24th of November. So I'm gonna get this video up so people can participate if you're interested. But it's Parlez-moi de Parfum. I think I pronounced that correctly. And they sent me a Woody Perfecto 107. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. So good, I love it so much. They asked me what kind of notes I liked, the types of fragrances I liked, and they picked this one out for me. And I thought it was perfection, so good. And then they sent me a discovery scent. So this is the discovery scent. Okay, it was very nice of them. I wasn't expecting, I thought they were just gonna send me a discovery scent. I was not expecting a full bottle, so it was really, really nice. And they were generous and sent me two of these. So anyway, this is most of their fragrances. Definitely check it out. I'm really excited to get my nose on the rest of these. So really super duper stoked. Love that scent so much. Definitely gonna be wearing the crap out of it. I also got sent the new one from Perfumology Clutch. I'll be reviewing this in the next week or two. This is a really unique scent, way different than Bliss and Grange, and in a very positive way. And Bliss and Grange are gorgeous. I love Bliss. I wear it all the time. Grange is stunning. And this is just different, but it's good. I love it. I love their scents. I love, love, love their scents. So I'll be reviewing this in the next few weeks, but this was very nice of them to send me this. So thank you so much. And then last but not least, uh, Max Roman reached out like a month or two ago and asked if I wanted to be a part of their Max Roma challenge. I filmed a whole video of that. I will link it below where they gave me $50 to buy a bunch of things from their site. And I chose, and I, some people did pocket perfume, some people did like one fragrance or as many as they could. I decided to do as many full bottles as I could that were wearable, really easy scents. And I love everything that I got. But I also bought a few other things there too. So the things that I got from the Max Roma Challenge, if you guys already don't know, is I got a Moschino Pink Bouquet. Love this scent. I got Green Tea Camellia. This is, if you don't know, I collect Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Flankers. So very happy to have that. And then I also got April Violets from Yardley. And this scent, oh my gosh, if you like violet scents, like candied violet, but still a little bit green and watery, gorgeous, affordable scent. Love it. I've been meaning that has been, this has been in my basket for like months. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I just hadn't made a purchase from Max Roma in a while. And I was like, this is perfect. Let's do this. And Pink Bouquet is one I sampled a bit and I really, really loved. I also got three other things. I've been meaning to pick this up. This is a celebrity scent. If you guys don't know, I don't own too many celebrity scents. It's not that I don't like them. It's just, you know, generally their composition isn't my favorite. I appreciate the beauty and artistry that goes into them, but it's just, I like to smell a little bit weirder. But Fancy Nights from Jessica Simpson is amazing. <laughs> Especially if you like patchouli. This is like a crazy overpowering patchouli scent in a really positive way. I think this was like eight bucks and I was like, I will buy you because I've been meaning to. And the bottle is really cool too. So I'm really happy to have this. And I also got uh, Black Perfecto from La Petite Robe Noire Guerlain. 
really think this scent is something special. Some people don't like it and I think that's totally fine. I think they were expecting something else, but I find this to be a really sophisticated and sexy scent. So again, just because I like something doesn't mean that people who don't like it are invalid. It means they don't like it and that's totally valid. And the last thing is another thing that has literally been on my, in my basket forever. I don't even think I need to name the scent. It's just very popular. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent, specifically in hot and humid weather. So finally added this little lady into my fragrances. So yeah, anyway, that is my fragrance haul for November. Let me count the bottles because there's a lot going on. I think it's like 30 or just under 30 or just over 30. Yeah, about 30 bottles of fragrance added to my collection this month. That's pretty, it's a pretty good haul, I think. And honestly, most of it I was very lucky to get in swaps. I got for sales or I had points lying around for years that I finally decided to spend. I didn't spend that much money this month, but still, really, really good haul. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys like my haul videos. I really love bringing these to you guys, but I always don't want you to think that I'm trying to show off or brag or anything like that. For me personally, I love living through other people. I love watching like Amy Loves Perfumes. I love her haul videos. I like watching people get things and seeing what they spend their money on rather than just getting things for free, which is why I like to let you know if something was sent to me or given to me or swapped so that you can see what I spend my money on. And also I think it's just really cool. Um, part of the part, part of the thing that I love is I'm very curious and I love seeing what people have in their collection. So I think if you're curious and you want to see what I have in my collection, these haul videos are a fun way to do it. But in any case, guys, if you want a review of any of these things, I'd be more than happy to do it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will have another one of these for you guys next month. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And have a happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys, bye.